Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For my video today, I am excited to say I have a shoe haul. I've been shopping for summer and spring shoes. I'm really excited. Now, if you have been here before, you probably know that I do love my shoes. But if you're new here, welcome in. My name is Chris. I do videos on luxury handbag shoes and fashion over 50. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe. So let me show you the shoes that I got. Now I have four pairs here for you today and one pair I have actually shown you already. They are my Hermes Oran sandals. I did an unboxing on them a couple months ago, maybe weeks ago, we'll say. They came in this beautiful box and I just wanted to mention them because I have actually worn them a little bit and I wanted to give you a little bit of feedback on them. I did get them in the gold and I love this color. I had a pair of dupes for a little over a year. I wore them nearly every day and they literally fell apart. Like they, they just started to crack because they were not 100% leather and since I love the style so much I thought what the heck I might as well just go ahead and get the real thing and I'm really really happy that I did because they're turning out to be really great now you may notice here that I have actually put a little pad on the interior of the shoe I bought these in a 37 I'm typically a size six and a half or seven US and I went for the 37 thinking that they probably would be just fine however I did notice that they are a little bit wide on me and I noticed that my toes were going over the front of the sandal so rather than returning them and waiting I decided to just go ahead and get the little ball of the foot pad to put it on there I think it's a Dr. Scholl's thing you can pick them up in the grocery store and it was the perfect solution because not only does it stop my foot from sliding through but it also makes it very very comfortable so I've been wearing these around the house I think I did wear them on an errand once um, maybe a couple weeks ago when we actually had some nice weather it is still April here in Pennsylvania and we've had everything from 75 degrees and and beautifully sunny to three inches of snow and pour down rain so it's been a difficult month April's always a difficult month around here but I'm really really looking forward to spring and so I can't wait to start wearing these because I think they're going to be one of those shoes that I just put on my feet when I'm running out the door to do whatever and since they look so classy and they're so easy and elegant I really do love these Next up, I have some sneakers to show you. I picked up a pair of Vea sneakers and I had seen these. A couple of YouTubers were talking about them. A double vanilla got a pair in pink, which really caught my eye. And I was looking around at them. They do have a lot of different styles. The s -Flar seems to be particularly popular, but they reminded me too much of my Golden Goose and I don't like to do duplicates when it comes to sneakers. So I opted for the Campo style. So that's what this is. And you can see that the base of the shoe, the sole of the shoe is a little bit thicker. It has a little bit more of a thick profile. And what I love about these is that they have this beautiful blue V and also the, the Vea badge on the back. It's a really beautiful, almost like a turquoise blue. I think they call it Swedish blue. I, I know it's not Swiss, so it must be Swedish. But they are really comfortable. I actually wore them to a dress down day at work, so I had them on all day. I was on my feet all day, and they did not bother me at all. They were quite comfortable. These are real leather, but if you're familiar with Vea, you probably know that they are really into sustainability and uh, environmentally friendly products and things. So they also offer a couple other options when it comes to sneakers, specifically something that they call positively conscious. And I believe that is a vegan leather. I'm not a big fan of vegan leather only because I've seen that it doesn't wear as well as real leather does. So I opted for the leather. Uh, they also, let me find my box, sorry. I thought I had it ready, but I don't. It came with this like newspaper. -y. Everything's falling now. Hmm. Came with this newspaper, the Vea story, and uh, it tells you all about their um, company. It tells you um, about the history. It tells you if you need to. Um, or if you want to know about their CO2 emissions, and I have not read this yet. Um, different styles of shoes. There are running shoes and kid shoes and you name it. 
So if you're interested in the Vea brand, definitely check out their website. They will have lots of information there, but um, love these sneakers and they are, like I said, a little bit different from my Golden Goose. So I have been using these and alternating on and off. They go great with jeans and just for, you know, running errands, going to the grocery store, the perfect shoe for the spring. All right, next up I have my Chloe slides and these I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I couldn't resist them. I'm, I was looking for something a little bit lighter. I was hoping for a white shoe, but when I saw these, I thought these would be perfect. And I just love the bold Chloe across the top and this uh, strappy look they're very comfortable too so they have like this really uh, nice little cushion on the heel and the base of the shoe is it's a little bit on the heavier side but it feels very very sturdy so i don't know what kind of leather they use on these but uh, i am loving these i also got these in a size 37 and this is going to be kind of alternating with my Oran sandals. I feel like these are going to be really good for, again, just sliding on your feet and running out the door, but I think they add a little bit of extra edge. Now, the one thing I was concerned about was the fact that they are off-white and they are a fabric. It's more like a, um, a very, very thick cotton uh, belting fabric. So I wanted to scotch guard it to make sure that it didn't get any stains or anything on it. I, I could just imagine, you know, uh, dropping a wing sauce or spaghetti sauce or something on these and kind of ruining them. So I decided to go ahead and scotch guard them. And I just wanted to mention if anybody gets these and wants to scotch guard them, uh, do be careful with respect to the, the Chloe because these uh, Chloe words written across here are actually they feel almost like a plasticky type of material that are embedded on there and if you spray too generously the scotch guard is actually going to leave a little bit of a white residue on there which happened to me fortunately I was able to get it off but what I would recommend is if you have these and you're going to scotch guard them just scotch guard them and then go very quickly with maybe a q-tip and wipe off the letters so that you don't leave any residue on there just so you don't um, you know uh, make them look a little less new than they really are but i'm loving these they're every bit as comfortable as the orans they just have a little bit of a different vibe to them definitely a statement shoe i even thought about getting the woody tote but then i thought no that's just too much <laughs> I think. So I stuck with the shoes because, hey, you know me, I love my shoes. And I'm really excited about these. Can't wait to wear these, but still waiting on the weather. It's sunny, but it's cold outside. So maybe a couple more weeks. And the last shoes that I have for you guys today are Stuart Weissman. And these are definitely out of my comfort zone. I, first of all, um, this is proof that you could change your mind because I am on record saying that I would never ever ever buy dad sandals and yet here I am with some dad sandals but I you know how it is you just get used to looking at something and then before you know it you think it's pretty cool I'm not going to spend over a thousand dollars on the Chanel ones um I don't live near a Chanel store, they're hard to get, and I absolutely am not that invested in them that I would ever spend that kind of money. But I saw these and they caught my eye because they have pearls on them. How cute are they? I just thought the pearls made it look a little prettier. So I, I kind of like the bulkiness and the chunkiness of it. I have a relatively small foot, so I don't mind that it makes my foot look a little bit bigger. This is all Velcro here. It really, like when they say dad sandals, they are not kidding. They really need dad sandals because that's exactly what they look like. And I also know that they look like those foot braces that they give you when you break your ankle or your foot. <laughs> I am sure that in a couple years, I'll probably be looking back going, what the heck was I thinking? But I just couldn't resist. I was uh, eyeing them and eyeing them and uh, much to the chagrin and horror of my both my daughter and my sister were horrified when I showed them the shoes. But I just, I, I don't know. I thought they were cute. Now, the only thing that worries me about them 
By the way, they're really comfortable. I did wear them out as soon as I got them and very, very comfortable. I ended up coming home from lunch, walking around the house. I didn't take them off for hours because they were that comfortable. So that was a plus. But what worries me about them is, you know, this is a, a look for a young girl and she looks really hip and cool, you know, but I'm not a young girl. <laughs> And I'm worried that perhaps I'm going to look like someone who has to wear geriatric shoes or, you know, um, I guess that's the word for it, geriatric shoes. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about that if you are in your uh, very late 50s. And can you get away with these? That's what I want to know. I, like I said, I wore them out. I was very happy. I thought they looked cute on my feet and they were very, very comfortable. So they were working for me, but I haven't gotten any feedback. Like I said, my sister and my daughter both are horrified by them. My husband just laughed because he thought they were hideous. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try the dad scandal trend, even though on record I have said I never would buy them. So that just goes to show you never say never, right? Okay, guys, that is it for my video today. I did actually order one more pair of sandals. I know that's a lot for one season, but I can't resist because I feel like all of the styles are changing a little bit. Anyway, that pair did not arrive yet, so I will show them to you in a future video. But uh, if you have any comments or questions, and definitely answer my question, am I too old to wear dad sandals and still look chic? Um, leave that in the comments section below, and... Uh, don't forget to subscribe, so I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care.